I've been in recovery since March 18th, 2016. Um, I was an IV heroin addict for three years, maybe. Um, I got introduced to drugs at a young age, uh, parents split. There's a lot of abuse, there's a lot of neglect, um, and uh, I found an outlet through um, narcotics, and uh, I found myself um, at the um, you know, freshman, sophomore year of high school, getting really into it. Sophomore year, getting expelled out of high school. Um, junior year, you know, in and out of uh, mental institutions, um, heavy depression, anxiety. And I never really found an outlet to talk to anybody. You know, there's no one ever really there to, um, to understand. Uh, the only people who would under, ever, you know, said they understood were the people who were using them drugs. And uh, most of the time, they just wanted the drugs that I was using. I went to go try to find help at 17 years old, and um, there was no facility willing to take me. Uh, they said that you're too young, it was just a phase, I'm not addicted, I'll get out of it, or insurance wouldn't cover it. And um, I remember at this point, um, me and my mom actually, uh, you know, we had a restraining order when I was younger. We were actually working together trying to find me some help. and. Um, didn't work till I turned uh, 18 and uh, tried to get help again. Um, still couldn't find anywhere, and uh, that's when I got into uh, that's when I really got into heroin because um, that was uh, a drug I told myself I would never use, but I used it to, um, <clears throat> to try to get into treatment, and that didn't even work. Finally found treatment, and then found myself. Um, uh, in Mississippi, in treatment, which, uh, you know, I was relieved, um, but really it was, it didn't make sense to me. It was more of like a, a break, um, a vacation for me. I wasn't taking it serious um, until I got a phone call uh, from an ex-girlfriend that uh, people broke into my parents' house and uh, threatened to kill them and put guns in, you know, everybody's faces and uh, were wondering where some of the money was that I took from them. I remember that moment, you know, clear as day. I was sitting in like the lobby of a treatment center. And um, that's when I kind of woke up and I took, started really taking recovery seriously. You know, people will say, you know, what's your biggest secret or kind of things like that. And there's all these things I can think of that I've done that are, you know, like animal, val you know, like animalistic levels and just against someone's value that you wouldn't say. And, um, you know, when you have someone else there who can say, oh, I've done that too, um, it's just this feeling where you don't feel so um, evil or you don't feel so bad. You realize that there's more, you're not alone. Um, and that's where, you know, the peer support really came in because I didn't really have someone um, to relate to with all this stuff. I was feeling it all for the first time. So I, but I see how youth, you know, they want to do certain things or they're told to do certain things and, you know, they might not help them. And, you know, it's the best part about my job is through peer support. You know, I can talk to them and tell them my experiences with that and have their voice on that. And then I can actually, you know, contribute and say, you know, this is what so-and-so said. You know, we've talked about it. Why don't we look at this approach? So it's a little, you know, they got another person on their side helping them out a little bit. By peer support, you know, I'm actually forming a bond with this person. Um, so it's not so much, um, you know, it's not so much all clinical, you know, basis like it is, um, for example, if I was going to see the doctor. Um, so I think how peer support's really important is it's, it's, it's bringing a new perspective on, you know, working with an individual. Um, so peer support is, uh, I feel like it's opened up to for the you know the youth and individuals to see what we really are, but on you know my end, it's actually you know it's gotten me to see these uh, individuals more than just clients, but also as people, and you can really see where they're coming from, you know, because a lot of times you know I, I see that we just look at their like what they're going through and stuff like that, but we don't look at their values and hobbies and stuff like that and their goals. And peer supports really opened that up, um, so I think that's why it's really important.